Hello everyone, Randy here again, and we are playing Farming Simulator 15 on Northeast Iowa. That's right, Northeast Iowa on the RDL and multiplayer server. So we better put the pipe out here. Oh, there we go. Okay. I was going to say, you don't have to push a button to empty with that one, do you? Nope. Anyway, we are joined on the server at the moment by uh, Thomas, Miss Izzy, and Harvey. And, of course, myself on. And, yes, I do have quite a bit of money at the moment. I do need to uh, fix that, apparently. Forgot to uh, remove the amount of money I had before I started here. Obviously, I cheated myself in a bunch of money to uh, buy the starting equipment here, so that is what is up with that. And looks like we got uh, Miss Izzy. Looks like she's doing... Oh, picking up bales. I was going to say bale. No, she's picking up bales. And in case you folks can't tell yet, the equipment might be a little on the small side. We are using the uh, Classics Pack from uh, Farming Simulator. The yeah, classics, I don't know if you really want to call it a DLC, but uh, basically the DLC. Uh, Combine-wise, though, we are using, this is from the uh, Gold Edition. I forget the Neva Combine or something like that. Uh, can someone unload him? Yes, I can grab the tractor here and uh, figure out where he's at. Uh, probably the other Combine over there. And yes, if uh, you folks want to join us on the multiplayer server, all the links you need for the downloads are in the description below. Actually, just really one link is all you need. Uh, if you folks don't have any of the mods, just click the download all the mods link and uh, it will download all the mods for you. Uh, if you folks think you got probably most of the mods already, you can use the uh, single download link and uh, download them individually. And I'll, uh, I'll go through some of the mods we have here in a moment. Obviously, folks can see the uh, classics here and the Neva Combine. And yes, Northeast Iowa. Uh, we start out with just Field 12 here, I believe. Actually, no, we do not. We actually start with all the fields, apparently. Okay, something else I might have to fix. Okay, and I believe we can store this up at the farm up here. Yeah, I got this uh, map uploaded to the server here earlier this morning, at least at the time I'm recording this anyway. And shortly after I uploaded it, kind of got everything set up. Uh, my internet provider decided I did not need any internet for the rest of the day. So finally getting on the server here. A little bit uh, later at night. That was kind of, uh, oh, I don't know what uh, word to use there, but kind of disgusting, <laughs> I guess. You know, I'll get the uh, new map uploaded to the server, and I don't even get a chance to play it right away because my internet uh, provider decides I don't need internet. Okay. I was assuming that was the spot. Maybe not. Okay, guess not. Um... Uh... No, there doesn't appear to be a trigger there, does there? Okay, so where is... The unload spot up at the farm here. 
pretty sure this is where it was at in, uh, unload, please. <laughs> uh, yes, unload, as soon as I figure out how to unload myself here. Pretty sure that was the unload spot in 2013. Some interesting legs. Oh, I filled up. How did I manage to fill up? Okay, so apparently there's some sort of refill point there, but where's the empty spot now? Uh, okay, let's uh, take a quick look of the scene refill more than likely. Interesting. Okay, let's uh, head back down to the main farm yard, I guess, then. Uh, for those who remember 2013, the map looks very, very similar. Uh, there are obviously a few uh, few changes, like Field 11 down here. That is definitely different. And then Field 2 uh, used to be a forestry area, but that is apparently a field now, so... Like I said, those are the uh, two major differences I noticed. Uh, field 11 and then Field 2 where the forest used to be. Other than that, this map looks very, I would say, identical to uh, 2013. Yeah, I definitely don't take long for those combines to get full. Yes, that is a very, very small planter. Okay, hopefully the uh, spot down here still works yet, then. Okay, invisible object of some sort there, I guess. Oh, okay, no. There we go. And we'll uh, get the combines going here again. Hopefully we'll have a quick moment to uh, check up on the mods we have in the server here. Don't have a crazy amount of mods. Just added some odds and ends and stuff I thought would be uh, fun to play with. So no particular rhyme or reason to what I've added to the server here. Other than you know some basic equipment to at least get us going. Some of the common stuff we've had on the servers before. You know, stuff I kind of know that works good. Plus some uh, new stuff that hopefully works good, too. And yes, in case you folks can't tell, we are starting small. Like, very, very small. Okay, there we go, finally. Yeah, 
And yes, for those who have not seen this uh, combine yet, uh, definitely an older looking, uh, really cool, nicely done combine though. Uh, made by Giants, at least as far as I know it is anyway. Lots of uh, little moving pieces and bits on it. You know, nice amount of detail. You can see the pulleys and belts going there. I don't believe the Classics pack came with any combine of any sorts that I know of, so I kind of chose this combine as a nice older combine. Looks like I can uh, empty combine three times and that will be full again. Okay. And by three times, I mean any one, a total of three times. Oh, that looks like some fast moving water in that pond down there. Okay. Not sure where all that water's running so fast, but. And also, like I mentioned in the American Truck episode, for those who did not watch this, this was the map, or the winner from the poll I put on the. Uh, YouTube there on the video. Quite uh, quite overwhelmingly, uh, at least the last time I looked. Everybody pretty much uh, voted for this map. I believe second was California, if I remember correctly. And by second, I mean it was down like 12%. And Northeast Iowa here was, I think, 67%. Like I said, at least the last time I looked anyway. I didn't uh, check again today to see what I was at, so. Okay, we'll just uh, quick go over what we have on the server here at the moment. Starting out for the garage. Obviously, we have the classics equipment. I think I pretty much went ahead and just bought all of it. I have to double check, but I think we pretty much got all the classics equipment here for the most part. I might be missing like a small piece of equipment here and there, but... Uh, I even bought the uh, slurry and the manure spreaders. Cultivator, planter. I uh, bought two of each of these. Or this should, yeah, two of each of these. Don't know why, but I did buy a plow. Probably should have got two fertilizer spreaders, which I actually can do, but I need to remove that money. So, uh, All the tractors. Uh, bale and equipment. Some uh, pretty cool looking tractors here. And yeah, again, like I said, I just went ahead and just bought all the classic tractors. That way I at least have a couple of tractors to run around with. And then we have the Neva Combine. And a, what is this? Four meter header. Wow. Oh, the uh, starting one is 4.2, so slightly smaller than the in-game. Uh, Mod-wise, we have a couple of Kloss Combines, got a couple of John Deere Combines. Nothing really super too exciting, I don't think. Let's see, there should be a, yes, okay, 780 is the biggest uh, Colossus Combine. And then we have a S680 John Deere course. Transport pack, we've had that on the server before, nothing new there. Uh, sewing machines, again, we've had these on the server before, nothing new. Uh, Universal tanker pack, I, probably actually not really used for these on this particular map, maybe. Uh, tractors, we got a couple of different case tractors here. Got the classics. I did not buy that particular tractor yet. A little bit higher in the horsepower, so I guess that is one classics tractor I did not buy yet. And then we got a couple of John Deere's here to choose from. Yep, just all the headers for the combines. 
Don't know why, but it gets its own special category. A Kenworth W900, of course. Oh, mowers. I don't think I bought the mower yet. Actually, you know what? Maybe we'll just do that in a minute. In case we want to do mow some grass, we might want that. Bailing tech, miscellaneous. Yep, yep. Skid steers again. I think those have been on, like, uh, oh boy, how many different servers now? I did add in the uh, John Deere 27, I think it's 20, if I remember correctly. Don't know if I ever really use it, but I thought it'd be kind of a cool mod to add, so. Uh, trucks, we got the Peterbilt 378 and the Kenworth T600 again. Again, this truck's been on a couple of servers. Works quite well. Uh, cultivators, got a couple bigger cultivators. And yeah, that's about it. Yeah, of course, the New Holland loader again. Unload, please. Yes, where is he at? You know, it looks like they're up this way. Oh, just front lights, no rear lights. Okay. I guess what do you expect from an older tractor? Okay, and Thomas is full around here yet somewhere. Ah, right there. And it looks like we'll have to go empty here again. Yeah, I believe this uh, map was mentioned by Ross. I believe he was the one that mentioned the uh, Northeast Iowa map here. Or at least uh, suggested it in the comments. And he was uh, definitely right when he said this would be the next uh, multiplayer map. Not that, like I said, not that I necessarily chose it. From the uh, poll results, uh, quite overwhelmingly, I have to add. Uh, it was chosen, so... And to be honest, I was actually a little surprised by that. Not completely surprised, because like I said before, I do like this map. Uh, one of my favorite maps from 2013. But there were a couple other good uh, maps in the uh, choices as well, if you ask me, such as Central California. Or actually, I think it's California Central Valley, I guess was the uh, name of it, the exact name anyway. And then, of course, OGF USA, another great map there. Actually, I would have to say all the uh, maps we had in the uh, poll were actually pretty good maps. Can't really uh, complain about any of them, I wouldn't think. I will have to say, it definitely looks like this map could use a little uh, 
cleaning up and tuning up. You know, some of the textures and whatnot. And there's not a whole lot of functionality on this map either. Pretty much just uh, plain map. In fact, I think there's a barn missing here. I'm pretty sure there used to be one here anyway. Again, I could be wrong on that, but uh, from what I recall... Looking for the sheep. Uh, sheep, I believe, are... I feel 11. And bail cell point. Oh, boy. Where's the bail cell point again? If there's one on this map. I don't recall remembering one. I do remember from uh, 2013 we did do a lot of bailing on this map. And I do mean a lot of bailing. And I can't remember the name of the... Or the brand name of the baler we used. But I remember we had a baler that would... Uh, it made round bales and then it would wrap them. Which uh, worked quite well, at least in my opinion. And if you look at the map, it uh, definitely does have some issues. There's a garden center out there, which I'm... I didn't actually go out and look, but I'm quite sure it's not there. And there's actually uh, kind of two reasons we don't have course play on the multiplayer server here. Uh, one, it's a multiplayer server. <laughs> I don't think we, or don't feel we really need course play on the multiplayer server. And number two, uh, just from past experiences, it tends to crash the server. So, kind of the uh, two reasons we don't have course play on the server here. Uh, we also do not have drive control mod. I uh, would kind of like to add that, but unfortunately, again, doesn't really work with a multiplayer, so. Also, with the uh, manual ignition part of drive control, I'd be slightly concerned about people uh, leaving tractors on and combines on and probably running out of fuel a lot. That could be a possible issue. Oh, I guess I should have gone around the other way. I was kind of looking at the map there. I couldn't decide if he was on the top side up here or if he was down there. But I guess he's down there. Not exactly sure what tractor this is our, we are driving. It <laughs> doesn't look like Giants uh, improved upon the textures for the dash at all. Uh, how much money are we at? Oh, boy. <laughs> I am currently at a lot. Uh, this map does, by default, start you with the basic starter equipment, by the way. Which I naturally sold all of it.
Or wait a minute, is it 98 mil? Yes, I, it is 98 million. And yes, don't worry, folks, I will be removing that. I'll probably bump it down to like five or ten thousand or something. And I'll probably be uh, getting rid of some of the fields we own, too. Uh, we're only supposed to start with field 12. Apparently, uh, in my playing around on this map, I got the rest of the fields, or not all the fields, but a bunch of the other ones bought as well. Uh, Thomas is... Ah, oh yes, Thomas is full. Okay. I don't think it'll take us too long to get up to some decent equipment. Uh, I could be wrong on that because we are obviously starting out quite small, but uh, field sizes on the map here are quite large. And they aren't that expensive either. I think like one of the... Boy, is it six there? I think it was like 50,000 or something like that. Which is, you know, a fairly good sized field. Oh great, now Harvey's full too. <laughs> And I'm almost full as well. Uh, we got 61,000 wheat in storage. Speaking of storage, there is nothing else. Okay. Not sure if uh, somebody sold it all already or there just wasn't anything. Well, uh, we'll take this and just sell it and see how much we get here. And then it'll probably be time to uh, wrap up the episode. Again, I'm assuming sell point. Same selling point here, I'm assuming. And probably the only one. Uh, sell point for straw. Is there a biogas plant on this map? Something we'll have to uh, maybe look into. There's a biogas plant. Uh, if there is one on this map, I'm not sure where it is. Like I say, the icons don't exactly help a whole lot. Yeah, you know, it shows the chickens are up there, the sheep are up there. I'm pretty sure the sheep are down by 11 there, if I remember correctly. Actually, you know what? On our way back, we can actually take a look at that. That's kind of the, the one issue with this map. As much as I do like it, uh, it is missing some items. And as far as fancier maps go, it's pretty much missing a lot of items. You know, a lot of the uh, newer maps out there are coming out with a lot of different add-ons to them. Uh, different things you can do. You, know, you take the Michigan map there, for example, we played last, well, before the forestry maps anyway. All the different things you could actually do on that map. 
which I don't seem to work well in multiplayer for some reason, which is kind of unfortunate, but seems like all that extra stuff is always breaking down in the multiplayer. Okay, yeah, looks like we got maybe 1,500 from that load there. Or buy some cows. Yeah, we could probably do that before I cheat out the money. Let's buy maybe 10 cows here a minute. Yeah, a little disappointing. Giants didn't actually up the texture quality on the dash here. Yeah, the rest of the tractor doesn't look too bad. Yes, uh, sell point for straw. I'll have to. Uh, pretty sure there is one. I don't remember where again, though. Ah, uh, yes, and like I said, I believe this is the sheep straight ahead of us here. And the cows at least were down on the opposite uh, farm there. Or opposite side of the map, I should say. Uh, silage point should be at the uh, main yard, or main farm there. And by main farm, I'm not talking, I always kind of call this one up the, on the one on the hill here. I'm talking the one, the lower one, on the opposite side of the map there. Anyway, folks, I think we better uh, wrap up the episode there. Going a little bit long here already, so uh, if you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching and until next time.